Hey everybody, welcome back to Sky Lounge. Here to talk about some Lakers action. I say fucking lose! God damn it! They lose 124 to 122 against the fucking Bucks. Now, the reason why I'm so upset about this game is because after all that hard fought work in the fourth quarter, I mean, fucking Evita Zubats was having a fucking out of this mind, out of this world game, man. 14 points in that quarter. I think 14 or 15 points in the quarter. Uh, I mean, obviously Kyle Kuzma came up big in the fourth quarter. Julius with an excellent steal. Uh, you, you know, you can name all these things. You really can. Especially in that fourth quarter. But in the overtime, man, I mean, it, it's it's like they lost their focus. They lost their concentration. Special shout out to Alex Caruso and Evita Zubas. Those dudes have been killing it. Like, especially this game. The chemistry between them that they developed in the G League uh, in, in the, with the South Bay Lakers, who are actually going to be in the playoffs now, uh, you know, it's 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 great to see that kind of transition from G League to NBA. It's cool to see that, but the problem is in OT, I felt like Julius Randle and Kyle Kuzma kind of got in their own heads, right? They were making these boneheaded plays where you thought, man, I mean, if you if you just didn't over dribble, if you didn't over dribble, if you just took your fucking time and just got it down, we would have been fine. But unfortunately, they lose 124 to 122 against the Bucks. Uh, Eric Bledsoe has been phenom was phenomenal tonight. 39 points. Giannis, I mean, we got to talk about Giannis, right? Whenever we talk about, uh, talk about the Bucks. But to me, as great as Giannis is on the offensive end, I felt like on, d on the defensive end, he wasn't spectacular by any means. I mean, he was kind of working on that fifth personal foul. So... To me, I kind of felt, okay, Middleton got fouled out. He was having a phenomenal game. Uh, Giannis was also great on the offensive end, 15-plus free throws. But to me, the real show was Eric Bledsoe. He's proving to Phoenix, like, dude, fuck you. If you give me an actual team, I can win. So congrats to the Bucks. I mean, they're going to the playoffs. With the, with the Lakers right now, it's just one of those, like, fucking head scratchers where, God, we should have won, right? We should have won. We should have won, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. We lose on the day. No Lonzo. Lonzo shut out, for, shut down for the season. Good to have Josh Hart back, though. It's really good to have Josh Hart back. Uh, Bi, you know, he he didn't have the best of games, but obviously just coming back from an injury. Uh, I don't know. There's there's really not much to say, man. I mean, it's it's a loss. It's unfortunate, but. Let's take some positive notes at, at this end. You know, Josh Hart comes back, gets a double-double. B.I. looks like he's trying to get back into the rhythm of things. Julius has been pretty solid. Uh, obviously, Kyle Kuzma, I got, I got nothing but positive things to say about him. But Lakers lose on the day. Let's just keep it going. Let's just hope the fucking next game they don't choke. But let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, all that shit. Until next time, fuck off.